the energy vibration reading for the Sun moon and rising Gemini's I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is the third week of January 2017 and the week begins from the 15th until the 21st it is an uh, earth energy week and the zodiac energy is earth and hair so for you Gemini's as of Friday you're going to start feeling much much better okay um it's a good week there is no problem there's a lot of earth energy um, um Sunday is going to be a day for you um, Gemini's the men um, it's, it's a masculine week I should say this it's a masculine week it's really a masculine week so um, what is going to happen in this week it is a very masculine week and what is going to happen in this week for you Gemini's is is that there is a lot of situation a hurt situation balancing out of situation for you Gemini's um, your best day is going to be on Sunday and in the weekend in the weekend your best days is going to be in the weekend okay the number two energies are here for you guys okay so let's look and see what is going on on Monday you have the energy vibration of the Queen of Cups the Queen of Cups is a uh, someone over the age of 40 she is a Taurus Virgo no she is a Pisces um, cancer or scorpion okay whoever this person is it could be someone you're in a relationship or it could be a supervisor or it could be your mom or your aunt or a family member whoever this person is um, it has something to do with money and a whole lot of money okay on Tuesday you have the energy of the ace of Pentacle which is the earth sign this is a wonderful energy to have um, this means that whatever your financial situation is it's going to get better okay then you have the energy of the king of Pentacles on Wednesday who is this king of Pentacles this king of Pentacles could be your boss supervisor or so um, it could be um, someone who's going to help you balance out your financial situation it could be someone who's going to advise you about your financial situation okay it could be some people father I'm seeing that um, for the men it could be um, your father that is coming to help you balance out your financial situation another earth energy that we have on Thursday which is wonderful this is good because um, this situation is that your financial situation is going to be balanced out so um, this is a time that you're looking at your uh, financial situation and trying uh, to do the best and balance out um, your financial situation which is um, good so it's a week of balancing out your financial situation another earth sign and also the energy of the week you have the energy of the week coming up in the week on Friday this is wonderful this is the energy of a Virgo person um, and also the energy of uh, um, it's the earth sign but what is happening here is that there is situations that are happening and there are going to be positive situations that are happening so this is um, good because there's a lot of hurt that is bringing balance in your week on Saturday you have the two of swords this is wonderful this is good because some of you are seeing a situation for what it is some of you are realizing a situation how this is taking place you're understanding and you're seeing what has transpired okay and it could be you for um, some of you men on Sunday it's going to be a day for you um, to think about a business situation that you have been in um, with someone who is a steer um, with someone who is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn and this could be that you're in business with this person you could be thinking you know I need to ask this person to help me to balance out my financial situation because I'm seeing this energy here which it is as if it's your father and you are trying to work out and ask your father to help you balance out whatever your financial situation is okay so um, what we're going to do is that we're going to look at um, certain aspect of your reading okay 
to see um, what as um, a transpire and what is going to affect you because it's in a different way um, what I'm seeing is that whatever the conflicts was it is in the reverse okay so people who have had conflicts for a while um, this is going to be balanced out and this is going to be okay this is going to be really balanced out and this is going to be okay and with that those conflicts balancing out there is going to be a celebration it's the end of something and you're going to be moving on with your life so um, I'm seeing a lot of situation that is transpired because I see the five of swords so some of you had a situation with um, um, an, a Pisces a cancer of a of a scorpion woman or man and um, there was huge conflicts but it's going to balance out it's going to be a balancing out and coming um, to an end okay so whatever that has transpired with you and a cancer woman um, this conflict is going to be balancing out and you're going to end up with um, a lot of money okay it's as if this person have to pay you a lot of money you're going to be really balanced out with um, this conflicts that you have been having with this woman who is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion it can be a woman it can be a man for some people whatever the conflicts was and this woman wasn't being honest about certain things and certain situations she was not being very honest so that is the reason that is the foremost conflict of what is happening um as we move forward we are looking at uh, um, a certain aspect because as I'm looking in your week it is no nothing of love there is absolutely no love no feelings of love that is happening it's all about money it's all about seeing something clearly it's all about moving on a new part because a lot of you are going to be starting new things new and new situations in your life and this is going to be much better than what you were doing because what is happening is that for some people there was a disillusion caused on by um, someone who is a, a, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn who is older there was a lot of and this person had brought some disillusion in your life or you have brought the disillusion in their life and as this has transpired in a, a such horrible horrible situation that has transpired for both you and that person that Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person because um, you have done this out of revenge or out of uh, being felt as if you're you've been put pushed away and 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 you want your ego you have used your ego to cause this disillusion for this person and um, it has cost this person a lot or it has cost you because it could be that the person bring this disillusion to you or you have bring this disillusion to the person life that has cost you um, a lot okay and cost the person a lot so be aware of what happened look in your life to see who is this for the rest of the people what is happening here is that you are focusing on your financial you're trying to balance out certain things you're trying to change your life you're trying to move forward you're trying to leave behind whatever conflicts that you have you're trying to clear up conflicts if there wasn't any conflicts whatever disillusion there was you're trying to like really 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 um, find clarity to these disillusions that has been happening in your life because a lot of you have cost other people certain it's cost certain um, things in other people's life and what you know you Gemini's I love you Gemini's but um, you should understand that you vibrate with two different sort of energy because you're twins so um, especially for hurt sign people they're different you know they they're balanced persons they they can't vibrate with two different energies they're just stable they're hurt they're the ground so they can't and you would bring there's for some people you have bring the disillusion and for others um, they have bring the disillusion okay 
as we move on and we look forward what has transpires that there is a new beginning there's a new beginning for a lot of you Virgos and a lot of you Virgos are going to be receiving help from a Taurus uh, a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn person this person is like a financial advisor who is going to advise you um, in a situation and what is going to happen is that um, you are going to um, find a way of um, balancing out your situation and just move on and leave a situation and move on um, in a new part in your life and this is going to be wonderful and powerful this is going to be good because um, for uh, most of you men um, it is a new start in your life and this new start is going to bring you um, positive situation in your life okay so whatever has transpired it's going to be um, working out positive okay um, we're looking at the money section of your reading because there's actually the energy of love whatever your relationship is vibrating it's gonna be like that but um, and there's no changes in love there is no um, transformation it's as if it's okay it's going it's okay if it's good it's good if it's not good then it's not good um, but this week it's the energy is more on your materialistic world and for some people um, you know leaving the regrets behind um, seeing what has transpired and release yourself from the disillusion and most people are going to be starting a new journey so this is really good um, in money it's going to be wonderful because a lot of people are going to be um, having in um, um, more extra um, money coming in for them um, because uh, it's a new year some people are going to have huge promotions some people are going to have ex extended um, materialistic gain I'm seeing that some people parents will be um, giving them money um, um, you know and um, whatever the situation is there's money that is going to be um, exchanged with parents also as if um, uh, one parents is going to say you know let's give our our kids some of this money so we you know that sort of a thing what I'm seeing for other people especially the men uh, most of you men are trying to balance out your financial situation this is what is happening most of you men are really really trying to balance out your financial situation because you have the energy of balance in this um, week and this is what is really going to transpire for you guys so um, this is what I'm seeing so ladies and gentlemen we are going to move forward and see what else is transpiring from the wisdom of the night cards and see what else is transpiring okay 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 we have the energy of the moon and the energy of the moon is um, uh, this is an energy of uh, uh, when the moon comes up the moon is warning you of uh, people to be aware of um, it's always that sort of an energy and it says this is a sign that you must trust your gut trust your gut trust your gut in whatever is happening your instincts and intuition will lead the way through the darkness okay so um, trust your gut trust your intuition and it will lead the way through the darkness when you choose the symbol of the moon as your guide you know that it is necessary to look beyond the obvious to know the truth of things sometimes people will say one thing and you have a weird feeling that they mean something else altogether which is true that's how I read people you have this power you are being asked to use it choose another card for a deeper look to, at what's really going on behind the scene and we are going to choose another card to see what is really going on behind the scenes number 17 focus focus number 17 focus focus number 17 I love these Wow number 17 focus when you draw this card the symbol it is a wonderful sign that with focus you will achieve what you want this is good 
if you give yourself an arrow and a bow to use how will you shoot and hit the mark this is a reminder that you must let go of all distractions and have the courage to give it your all your arrow will be drawn to whatever your focus is on so keep your eyes on the target however remember that you cannot control every outcome just as the wind can influence the part of your arrow there are many factors determining the course of your plans to achieve anything you must focus take aim and let go that is wonderful that is so so wonderful okay so let's go and let's see what else is there loud and clear mm -mm -mm. loud and clear my darling so that message was loud and clear it is telling you take heed look forward focus on what you will and go for it in this week because you are going to be a success so I want to wish you wonderful Gemini's I love you so much I want to wish you a wonderful positive week whatever that you need in your life whatever that you want to attract you're very good at manifesting things so focus on it and bring it into existence because that is what you will receive so ladies and gentlemen I want to say to you please like and share these videos listen to your Sun Moon and Rising sign thumbs up like and share these videos and I'm saying namaste until next time